Welcome to my tutorial for the broadcaster wiring. I tried to make this video as short and concise as I can, so feel free to stop the video at any time. However, the video consists of several steps and I suggest you to listen to my whole explanation for each step before attempting it. We'll have timestamps for each of them in the description so it's easy to revisit them. So without further ado, let's start with the parts list. If you're converting a telecaster, you probably already have most of the parts you need for the wiring. You need a 3-way switch, two 250k pots and a 47 or 50 nanofarad capacitor. Each of those is fine because due to tolerances they can very well be the same value. When reusing the capacitor of the telecaster wiring, make sure though that the feet are long enough so you can place it in the new spot. Extending the feet can be tricky and a little bit annoying. In addition to that, you only need a 15 kilo ohm resistor and that's all the parts you need for this wiring. So let's move on to the tutorial. First, let me please explain how to read these pictures. What we see here is step number one, which I've marked in the top right corner. On the bottom right are always the schematics. Each color represents one connection or component that needs to be soldered in this step. Usually the color also indicates the suggested order to solder things, so it's easier, but in this tutorial it does not really matter, because it's fairly simple. I only show what is wired up in each step. This picture shows now step number two and you can see that all the markings from step number one have been removed. Something else you will come across in this tutorial are these red crosses. This means you should wire up everything until this point but not solder it yet. Another connection will be made to this pin in another step. With this we are ready to start with step one. When your toggle switch is to your left, the top pin of the volume pot is going to ground. If you are converting a telecaster control plate this might very well be already the case. With this we are already at step 2. So the one side of the capacitor to the far right pin on the top row of the three-way switch and the other side of the capacitor to the housing of the volume pot. Step number 3 is just preparing the resistor. It's bridging the two middle pins on the bottom row of the three-way switch. Don't solder it yet. There are other wires that are also connected to these pins. Just bend it into shape and shorten the legs. Step number 4 is already connecting to the resistor. Please take note that the picture is taken from the other side than what the schematics are showing. I'm explaining from the view of the schematics. Bridge the far left pin from the top row with the second pin from right on the bottom row. On this pin should be the right foot of the resistor. So the first the top row pin and then the pin on the bottom row together with the resistor. Please take note that this picture is again taken from the side how the schematics are shown. That brings us to step number 5. Place a wire between the middle pin of the blend pot and the bottom pin of the volume pot. Only solder the wire to the middle pin of the blend pot. With this we are at step 6. Connect the far right pin on the bottom row of the three-way switch with the bottom pin of the volume pot where we've just placed the wire from step 5. I would suggest to solder first on the three-way switch and then on the volume pot where you have several connections to solder at once. Step number 7. This is a simple connection from the second pin from left on the top row of the three-way switch to the bottom pin of the blend pot. Here's another picture with a better view on the pin of the three-way switch. Please be aware that they did not rotate the schematics. Step number 8 is the output jack. Plus goes to the middle pin of the volume pot and ground goes to any housing of any pot you like. In my case I've used the blend pot. This already finishes the harness. The only thing left to do is connect everything now with the guitar. So step number 9 is the neck pickup. Plus goes to the second pin from left on the bottom row of the three-way switch. This is where the unsoldered foot of the resistor should be. Any minus ground or shielding goes to a housing of a pot, in my case the volume pot. This already brings us to step number 10 which is the bridge pickup. His plus goes to the far left pin of the bottom row of the three-way switch. It should be the only unsoldered pin of the bottom row. Again, any minus ground or shielding goes to a housing of any pot you like. Again, in my case it was the volume pot. In some cases you may have an 11th step. This is if your bridge has a separate ground, then connect it also to a pot. Speaking of ground, maybe you have noticed that we haven't connected the housings of the pots together. With most control plates being metal, they are connected over the control plate. If yours is lacquered or non-conductive in any way, of course, use a wire to connect both housings. I've used the fender one where I've measured one ohm between both pot housings, which is perfectly fine. 
With that, you finished the broadcaster wiring. Congratulations! Please leave a comment and let me know if you liked this video and if it helped you. I'd be also very happy to receive constructive criticism on where I can improve my tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye!